Hi guys, I just finished um, wrapping up Arlo's Christmas mouse. Um, she arrives tomorrow. I think she'll probably arrive around, around lunchtime so Morgan can be here when she gets opened up. Um, I thought that I would go ahead and read you the poem I wrote to go along with it. Um, I hope to eventually illustrate it and have it made into a book for Arlo. But I don't have that done yet. In case I don't get it done this Christmas, I thought I'd just go ahead and read it to you. So it's called A Mouse for Christmas. It says, I'm reading it off my phone. It says, Once upon a time, not too long ago, in our home near the fireplace flew, lived a young North Pole mouse named Scout Venterhouse, with a wish both exciting and new. Her fondest desire would be to acquire a companion to share Christmas joy, a lover of nature and yuletime fun maker who knew experiences are better than toys. Much farther south in a small city house lived a boy named Arlo von Sprout, a child prone to wonder and to daydreamingly wander through the trails of his forest school route. With calmness and patience, he would make the acquaintance of every small creature he'd meet, and with an abundance of kindness, overcoming his shyness, would gently offer each new friend a treat. Now Santa knows all your wishes and never once misses an, ex an opportunity to spread Christmas joy, but he listens most closely to those who seem lonely, whether it be North Pole mouse or small boy. So Saint Nick decided both would be delighted with the gift Scout so longingly wanted. They would spend time together starting on the 1st of December when to young Arlo's house she'd be transported. There would be lots of baking, merriment making, and many more cheerful adventures. Then until Scout would leave on Christmas Eve, they'd build memories so magically tender. So it became a tradition, this yearly edition of North Pole Mouse to the Von Sprout family with each new visit, she'd bring Christmas spirit and become a Von Sprout honorarily. I hope you have listened to this Yuletide rendition, for every word of it's true. And now that it's been told, there's one thing you should know. Sweet Arlo, Von Sprout is you. So that's the poem I wrote for Arlo to go along with Scout. Um, I also wrote a sort of an introductory letter from Santa um, for Arlo and um, I will either read him that poem probably the night that Scout leaves um, and then hopefully by next year it'll be a book that he can have but until then I'll just read it to him on my phone um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for the night got a Sure, Arlo has an early morning for me, but we will see you tomorrow. Hey, Arlo, look, hey, Arlo. Daddy's home. What's Daddy I want got? A package here from Santa Claus. Come here, Baba. Look, you got a package from Santa Claus in the mail. Did Santa Claus send you something? You want to take it to mommy and open it? Oh, well, why don't you help him open it, daddy? Okay. Come here, buddy. Can daddy help? Come here. Yeah, daddy help. It says from Santa Claus at 1213 Candy Cane Lane, North Pole, to Arlo Gottfried, 7813. Oh, babe. Yeah. <laughs> What did you get? What is it? <gasps> Looks like there's a letter. Better read the letter, Let's Daddy. Read the letter. Oh wow! Look, 
says, Dear Arlo, I have been watching over you this year, and I am delighted to see what a kind person you are becoming. I cannot wait to visit you and bring your presents to you on Christmas Eve. In the meantime, I have a favor to ask of you. As you may know, it is my honor to help grant Christmas wishes to creatures big and small all over the world every year. And while I do my best to fulfill as many as I can, it is a big job. And this time, I need your help. I am sending to you a very special North Pole mouse whose fondest wish is to spend Christmas with a child and their family. It has been a very long search to find <clears throat> the right family for this mouse. I needed someone who loves nature as well as Christmas Mom? and someone who is kind to all God's creatures. Mom? After observing you, get, you this year, I believe you to be the perfect fit. So I'm sending Scout to you. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Listen to your letter, buddy. For you to take care of and make Christmas memories Let with. Go. Yeah. I will pick her up when I visit on Christmas Let Eve. I know you Let learned about tease. nocturnal animals yes. this year in your homeschool Let studies. Tease. Listen about Scout being nocturnal. Mice are nocturnal. Let the North tease. Pole mice in particular Let must rest tease. during the day to refuel their magic. So do not Mouch. be alarmed if Scout isn't very lively Mouch. during the day. Yeah. She's still enjoying your adventures Mouch. together and experiencing everything. Mouch. Even if she needs Mouch. your help to participate after midnight, she will be Mouch. more Look, lively that's a Santa Claus. and will work through the night to prepare fun activities the next day. I have faith that you and Scout will have an amazing Christmas season together and I will see you both Christmas Eve. Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. What's in the box, Arlo? Wow. Look, buddy. It's your North Pole mouse. Scout, your North Pole mouse. She's got a little sleeping bag for sleeping in. Are you guys going to have fun together? Go on adventures? No, that's supposed to be like that. That's the slit so that she can get into her bag, dear. Her name is Scout, and she's from the North Pole. Yeah? Look at her little box. It's got graham crackers on it. Are you going to tuck her into her sleeping bag? Very cool. Say hi, Scout. Night, night, Scout. Scout, yeah. Night, 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 Scout. Night, night, Scout. Yeah, she's going to take a nap, I guess. They are nocturnal. Mama. She got her little marshmallow s'more. You want to put her in her sleeping bag so she can take a nap and till tonight. Look, she's all tucked in.